What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. So today we're gonna be meeting up with Mike Wynn. He's gonna be coming over and uh, we're gonna be driving the Birdie 30 around, that little guy. Hola. Yo, yo. Hola. Look who's here, guys. Dude, that's a huge lens. Showing Mike the garage right now, guys. About to open this thing up. Ooh, holy crap, this is a garage. So we got Mike doing the little cinematic shot. Super easy. Everyone's like, we're so technical. Watch, watch this. This is like a classic, like, I don't know what they call it. I don't even know what the words are. But if I want to like, glamour focus on shot. this, yeah, glamour shot. B roll. I just hold it like this, and I literally go like this. That's it. Nice and smooth. That's it. That's all. That's Show them the goodies. This is a garage. This is a. Damn. Damn, this is what I wish I had. I just build like a shed and like a huge shed. Like, to cement the pool. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna cement the pool and uh, put a, a, a garage like this in the back. Check this out. So on my channel, I've never really done like a full garage you tour. Need to, you know, I don't know why. Like I always like get about this far, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do a garage tour, and it doesn't happen. I would garage tour the crap out of so, this place. So I guess it can happen now, right? You should. Yeah, yeah. I can be your cameraman. Yeah. I've never done a garage tour, so I figured while Mike's here, I'll give you guys a quick garage tour. So this is my wife's 2013 Vespa 150 LX. It'll do like 75 miles an hour. I know that sounds crazy on a scooter, but uh, it's pretty cool. Got the uh, bi-turbo shock on there. You guys may have seen some of my past videos on this. I did the shock install, that fender that got broken from uh, when someone backed up into us. Replaced that whole thing. That was a real pain in the ass, but I got a drift stitch up there. Um, this is a 1982. Yamaha 1100 XS. We're gonna do some stuff on it, possibly. I'm not quite sure if that's gonna happen. If you guys wanna pick this bike up, let me know. Give you a good deal. Here are the old wheels to the BMW, the E30, which is out front. Those are the uh, stock bottle caps. Got my lawnmower down there. Kind of a selection of tools, if you will. Got the uh, tool chest, like you'll have all the, all the tools that I got in there. Dartboard, stereo system up top and uh, drill press, and then my variety of yellow DeWalt tools. If you guys can't tell, I like DeWalt stuff. The Birdie 30 license plate for the E30. And then we'll go over to this stuff because I never really talk about this. So this was my grandpa's truck. This was his 1937 Ford V8. This is a flathead V8. This was one of the last cars that he restored before he passed away and like, I don't know, 2002 maybe? So it's been a while, it's been in my family for a while, but it's got a flathead V8 in it, it's pretty awesome. It cruises down the freeway really well to frame off restoration and it's really good to go. Mostly sees car shows and that sort of thing, but if you guys know if you have multiple vehicles, it's hard to drive multiple vehicles. Mike knows about that, right? Too many in the garage, so. That's that, and then I got the 1968 Ford Mustang. It's just a notch back. This was actually my mom's car growing up. Um, this was one of her first vehicles and she gave it to me. And then when I got into high school, this was kind of my like high school car, which I put way too much money into. I think I added up all the receipts one day and I have over like $20,000 in receipts, which is nuts because it doesn't look like $20,000 at all. But uh, this one's actually going up for sale on throttle.com. I'll put a link down below for that. Uh, give you guys a good deal on it. This is ah, the engine there, right there. 302 J code, it was actually a factory AC car. Street Fighter TCI uh, transmission, breakaway stall converter, 355 gears, positive traction rear end, hammer shifter. It was decently quick. My fastest quarter mile time was a 14 seconds flat at 98 miles an hour, so it wasn't too bad. Let's go this way. So as you guys have to have, you gotta have your slicks. And as we all know, with drifting and stuff like that, these are my homemade slicks, so they're a little dirty, but uh, those used to have tread on them. Not anymore. Um, back here, we got my grandpa's old creeper. And then this is actually more lights, if you can believe it or not. And then this little table folds down. I used to do like unboxings and kind of like overhead stuff here. Haven't really been using that as much anymore, guys, but uh, yeah, may use that again in the future. But 
lights, lights, lights. I hope you liked that little garage tour. And thanks a lot, Mike, for filming. Check out Mike on Smurfin WRX channel on YouTube. I figured I would take Mike to the uh, City of Trees spot. Yeah. Real quick. It's where he takes all his Asian boys. Oh yeah, City of Trees to the water tower. Just hanging out below the water tower, you know. All right. <laughs> that's what you do. So I figured I would take Mike to this little like glamour spot shot zone. Get a couple shots of the car. We'll go uh, rip around some freeway off ramps in. We'll go get a bite to eat, so it should be pretty fun. Mike getting those Instagram photos right there. We're just kind of finishing up the uh, drive around today. Just kind of went out with Mike. If you guys have not checked out his channel. Crazy. I'm sure you guys have, but maniac. he had fun. He had yeah, fun. I had fun, it'll be on my channel. I think so. it's freaking, he can drive. You guys ever get, no, yeah. You, no, don't, don't drive with him. It's, don't it's dangerous. Do it. Don't do it's, it. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, check out Mike's channel, Smurf and WRX or Mike Wynn Media yeah. on YouTube if you guys haven't already checked it out. And uh, go see more of the video because we did some, some fun stuff in the Birdie 30. Yeah. Always good. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I explained that earlier. No, so, no, you didn't. So like people call, get, uh, so it's E30, right? Yeah. It's like the body style of that BMW, those years. Yeah. And then a lot of people call it Dirty 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my dog's named Wilbert. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's why he's in the shirt. Yeah. And then so I call him nickname Bert and then Birdie 30. Nice. That's where that, nice. that's where that all came yeah. from. So, so if you guys are wondering, that's where that all comes from. Yeah, thanks for filming and all that no stuff problem. too. Thanks for the ride. Really appreciate it. Maniac driving. It's like once in the Subaru, now in this car. Yeah. It's crazy. So much grip, so much yeah. fun. So more to come on that build too, guys. So stay tuned. You'll see more action. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you soon. Later, guys. Right on.